What is the EEE syndrome? Syndrome is a rare genetic syndrome. disease found at birth caused by the P63 gene, of which there are 34 variants. The symptoms include bone malformations, along with problems that can be more or less serious, such as diseases of the skin, kidney diseases, serious complications of the eyes, cleft lip and cleft palate, and also complications of the teeth. It's not transmittable from person to person, but it has a 50% probability of transmission between parents and child. It is partially to completely disabling, but it doesn't prevent a normal life if handled properly. There is not a cure, but since 2009, researchers have been working on a project with adult corneal stem cells to solve the related problems. In addition to the problem of the rare disease itself, the discomfort of the patient is amplified by social stigma, by how society sees and approaches people with these diseases. A rare disease can be physically visible or not, and in the latter case, many patients keep it hidden out of shame. The syndrome of EEC actually appears as a secondary collapse of the stigma, a normality genetic rare caused by the gene P63, which presents at today 33 variants. This causes a malformation at the level of the teeth, so at the level of the bone, the collapse of the stigma, problematic at the level of the skin, few hair, theoretically, problematic at the level of the veins, and grave problems for the sight of the eye. E sono una malattia genetica al presente fin dalla nascita e purtroppo ad oggi non esiste ancora una cura. Ma dal 2009 i ricercatori dell'Università di Padova stanno portando avanti un progetto di ricerca scientifica sulle cellule staminali corneali adulte per cercare di risolvere il problema legato alla vista. È una malattia invalidante, sì, tra il 50 e il 100%, ma non c'è pericolo di contagio fra persona a persona. O la presenza di questa malattia può essere data dal genitore a figli e ha il 50% di possibilità di essere trasmessa, oppure di nuovo, quindi, come nel mio caso, quando si presenta senza casa in famiglia. Qual è il rischio più grave, l'invalidità più grande, è quella che dà la società, quindi non significa che la società... Il sindrome IC è una malattia genetica rara, detectata alla nascita, causata per la mutazione del gene P63, dove ci sono 34 varianti. Il y a donc una malformazione dei os, con altri problemi più o meno gravi, tali che le malattie di peau, le malattie dei reins, le complicazioni gravi della vue e della dentizione, e la lèvre e le palais sono fendu. Questa maladie non è trasmissibile da una persona a un'altra, ma c'è una chance su due per che un parent lo trasmette a suoi enfants. Cela può essere handicapante in maniera parziale o completamente, ma cela non pas di avere una vita tout à fait normale se elle è prise en charge correctement. Il n'existe pas encore de remède contre cette maladie, mais depuis 2009, des chercheurs travaillent sur un projet utilisant des cellules souches de la cornée afin de résoudre ce problème lié à la vue causé par la maladie. Au-delà du problème de la maladie rare en elle-même, la gêne de la personne est amplifiée par les préjugés sociaux. Das EEC-Syndrom ist eine seltene genetische Krankheit, die durch das Gen P63 ausgelöst wird welches es in 34 verschiedenen Variationen gibt. Wie es sich ausprägt, und zwar durch verschiedene Knochenfehlbildungen und auch weitere mehr oder weniger schlimme Begleiterscheinungen, wie zum Beispiel Haut- oder Nierenkrankheiten ähm, und häufig auch schwere Störungen an den Augen oder auch Zahnprobleme und eine Lippenkiefer-Gaumenspalte. Es ist nicht ansteckend. Allerdings ist die Wahrscheinlichkeit der Vererbung an ein Kind 50 Prozent. Ja, der Grad der Behinderung reicht von 50 bis 100 Grad. Das hält aber nicht davon ab, ein ganz normales Leben zu führen, wenn eine richtige Behandlung vorgenommen wird. Kann es geheilt werden? Nein, noch nicht. Allerdings gibt es ähm, Forscherteams, die seit 2009 daran forschen, ähm, Hornhautstammzellen ähm, ja, zu untersuchen und so vielleicht die Sehstörungen in den Griff zu bekommen. Zusätzlich zu den Problemen, die sie, die seltenen Krankheiten an sich mitbringen, haben Betroffene häufig auch ja, ein Problem damit, wie die Gesellschaft eben mit diesen Krankheiten umgeht. Was ist das Tener el Syndrome ESE? Tener el Syndrome ESE significa malformaciones óseas y cutáneas más o menos graves, complicaciones a los ojos, renales, labios de polino y complicaciones... ¿Es una enfermedad contagiosa? No, no es una enfermedad contagiosa. Es una enfermedad genética, lo que quiere decir que se transmite de padre a hijo. El síndrome ES tiene 50% de probabilidades de ser transmitida al niño en el momento de la concepción. ¿Es una enfermedad debilitante? Sí, es una enfermedad debilitante al 50 o 100%, pero esto no puede impedir una vida normal si se aborda la enfermedad en modo correcto.
¿Existe una cura? Desafortunadamente aún no existe una cura, pero desde el 2009 la investigación científica ha estado trabajando en un proyecto de células corneales madres para resolver el problema de los ojos.这种疾病并不会传染，它形成的原因是父母遗传。它会对病人生活造成不同程度的影响。自2009年起，科学工作者开始针对眼部干细胞进行重点研究，意图攻克眼部问题。由于这种疾病的罕见性，患者最大的障碍在于社会生活。大多数患者因羞耻感，选择掩盖自己的缺陷，以免被视为异类。呃，syndrome，etc.，也不列为那个不足，其实跟不同程度的影响。呃，看不
dont la préparation éducative et culturelle sur ce sujet spécifique est à un niveau international, proposée par l'adhésion à l'association et la participation active à des réunions internationales. È causato dal disagio sociale che in tanti modi si manifesta. L'obiettivo dell'associazione è di abbattere le barriere della differenza e dell'indifferenza, iniziando a mettere basi concrete per un percorso di integrazione sociale. Le supporta il paziente in pratiche burocratiche. Lavora per rendere consapevole la persona con malattia rara e la comunità, scuola, famiglia, amici e mette insieme pazienti e equipe specializzate sia nazionale che internazionale. I volontari dell'associazione, oltre a sostenere i pazienti per quanto riguarda il rapporto con i medici e i ricercatori nelle informazioni medico-scientifiche, informano anche la società stessa e i ragazzi a scuola tramite progetti di portata a livello sia nazionale che internazionale, ovviamente in seguito ad una preparazione appresa anche questa tramite meeting internazionali. Das Ziel des Verbandes und der Gesellschaft sollte es sein, die Unterschiede zwischen Menschen mit und ohne Krankheit aufzuheben und aufzuhören, diese Krankheiten zu verschweigen und konkrete Integration, Integrations- und Informationsprogramme zu starten in Schulen und allen Bereichen der Gesellschaft. Der Verband kümmert sich darum, die betroffenen Menschen und die Gesellschaft zu informieren. Er vernetzt Patienten mit Medizinern national und international und unterstützt Patienten bei administrativen Angelegenheiten. Das Wissen über uns und das unsere Wissen. Krankheit erlaubt es, eine optimale Nutzung der eigenen Kapazitäten durchzuführen. Was wir brauchen ist, dass die Gesellschaft diese speziellen Situationen versteht und Möglichkeiten der natürlichen Integration dieser Person im Alltag schafft. Unsere Freiwilligen sind junge Menschen, die eine inhaltliche und kulturelle Vorbereitung in diesem spezifischen Thema auf einem internationalen Level erhalten, was durch ihre Mitgliedschaft in dem Verein und ihre aktive Teilnahme an internationalen Treffen gegeben ist.协会的目标在于打破患者与大众之间的隔阂，引起从学校到整个社会的重视，以便开展具体的援助计划。协会致力于让患者与国家和国际级专家建立联系，并给予患者行政支援。对自己问题的清楚认识将有利于资源的积极
it's not it's not strange at all it's not difficult it's not bizarre it's actually great you know it's it's it's, it's, it's something great in my life because I have this so strong person that has a really difficult life but make it look so simple. A rare disease is something that normal people cannot totally understand. But what we can do is to encourage them in their everyday life and um, share their pain and happiness and to be their company. It's just that sometimes she's gonna ask me for the for the time and I'm just gonna show her on my watch and I will forget that she actually can can't really see. For me sharing my days with a person with a rare disease is an enriching experience. Probably that's <laughs> that's the only thing that really bothers her that sometimes she, she has a problem with eyes. Uh, otherwise, she's really independent, probably one of the most determined persons I have ever seen in my life. So for me, sharing my life with a person with a rare disease is kind of like learning how a person with a rare disease lives. And how well dressed she was, and I was like, okay, she's taking care of herself and I should do the same maybe. So for me, I know it's trivial to say it, but for me it's an inspiration to see somebody with so, so, so difficult difficult life and difficult fate in some way to act so so strong and with such an ambition and such a power like spiritual and mental even even, even physical if I've ever met so when she needs help she will ask for it she's never she has never been embarrassed of it but otherwise she really wants to be independent she doesn't want to, to, to feel sorry for her or she doesn't want to that other people feel sorry for her so it's not really a problem, I guess. And for me, it's a constant opportunity so I can see how the person with this syndrome can live. And it's really, it's inspiring in a lot of ways to see how people can kind of deal with the hand they're dealt. So in brief, I just, I just want to say that sharing my days with, with somebody with rare disease, it's, it's great. It's great because this person is learning me to a lot of things. It's learning me how to be more powerful, to be more strong, to have more will and to act more brave in this life. So it's, it's amazing. Then the second thing I noticed, it was uh, the fact that she was so kind to her friends and I was like, okay, I want her to be my roommate. How they face life challenges, how they, how they go about living their life and it's a really and have like a normal life and actually she's so brave she she even does like the things that other people who are like healthy don't, don't do and since then well my life is full of joy of laugh i laugh more and i worry less and i just take life as it is simple and full of, full of surprises i guess kind of eye-opening experience to see like this is how another person lives and this is how they make it through life challenges and uh, we do everything like normal people do at our age. We go out, we have fun, we dance. So thank you, Julia. So it's really like uh, not only an opportunity, but like I'm really glad that I have met her. And I learned so much. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> it leads to the question, who is perfect and who is normal? And the simple answer is, nobody is.